Hello and welcome to a bonus episode of my daily move room videos. Um, I put in this at the same time as my A&V Pickles video. Uh, I mentioned that I got some of these posters. I, I showed the two I picked up. I think I put them both in frames by the time I did the video. I saw that a couple of days ago. But um, yeah, I mentioned I got three other ones. So I wanted to show them. Uh, just, just like a little bonus episode to go up at the, up at the same time. So the first one I've got is The Shining. Now, these I originally wanted to get all the original poster artwork and these were going to go downstairs but I um, realised I've got no sort of spare wall space downstairs really that I can use the only sort of space I've got is for metal shelves so I've got a few posters I've put it in I can't put any, in, um, any up on the other side of the wall where I've got them on the stairs because it's brick wall and I just had a complete nightmare putting nails into there um, and I could probably uh, drill a hole, put a raw plug in and use a screw to hang this thing off, I suppose. But um, I might look at that because I've got, got some other things I want to hang up. Um, but yeah, so I've got these. Originally on this wall, I had all my arrow postcards. And as I've shown, those are all in a, like a photo album thing, you know. But, um, so I keep them all in there. Uh, partly because... I'd run out of clip frames, the glass ones, I can't buy them anymore. They take a lot of space up and those postcards can get stuck in there and it can sort of, if they're in a while and the heat and stuff, you can take off the bits of uh, ink off the front when it's, when you take it out. Yeah, so I decided to put these up here. Um, so I mentioned I use a laser level. Um, they're all fairly level. Um, I did mark lines on the wall, um, so maybe that would drill... Um, Put the nail in a bit lower on that line than the other ones and i've got a bag of hooks here and they're all mixture of different sizes and lengths and things so maybe i'll use a slightly smaller length one so i got that one there but then i might have a longer one see those are dip those are obviously different so i can't remember if i use all the same ones but it, apart from the jaws one you can sort of see it a little bit it's not too bad i mean I could have a look and change the hooks to make sure they're all the same, but I think I'll just gonna leave it as it is. Um, you see, because it goes up, then it goes down a bit. Then it goes down a bit. I mean, I suppose in a way it's all like, it starts higher and then goes a little bit lower and then a little bit lower. And I've got room three more there. I've made, I've made them, I've marked the walls. As you can see there. So I basically, I'll say I've, uh, I wanted a gap at the beginning, so worked out the gap I needed there, then measured to the middle, that's where I put the hole, and then measured the rest of that space, left in the gap, kept them equidistant to gaps there, so that gap should be the same as that gap, measured to the middle, and then just marked them all along. Um, so they're all, should be level really, because obviously a laser level, it will be level, and it beeps if it isn't, but again I'll say it's, you can see there, you know, I've marked there. Obviously, if I if I knock the nail on the bottom or the top, then you know you're gonna get a little bit of height difference. Plus, if the hook's a bit longer, so I might I might see what the hooks are there. I could possibly change them, but or move them a little bit higher, I suppose. But obviously, when you take the nail out and you put them the push the one in it, it kind of is, won't stay in. Then I found, but um, yeah, and I said. See, they're all the same sort of style. There was a Jurassic Park one, which is basically just like a full print one. And I like the fact that these are like this. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've got The Shining. Um, it's all different artwork. I wasn't, I think I saw that one afterwards and I thought, oh, I'm not keen on that one. Then I realised I already got it anyway. But uh, yeah, so they've all got a, sort of, a, a similar sort of aesthetic. Um, not just the thing there, but sort of the artwork style. Although the Jaws one is more the typical artwork. But they all look nice together, and they're not in a particular order. Just put them up. As I'm wearing, so I got these two first, then I got that one, and then I got those two. And I bought these, I said, with the print and the frame separate. They do some framed ones already, I think, similar frames, but couldn't find those all until I wanted. And they got white frames, but I don't know. I think they look better in black with the white border around, because all my other frames have got a black anyway. Apart from the clip frames, obviously, they were just glass fronts, but, you know, look nice to the wall, I think. 
probably more likely to show the dust because the problem, problem is obviously having things up here will get dusty downstairs. I don't have a problem with dust. But um, yeah, so we've got Rick and Morty there, the Pickle Man, that's uh, the one I actually really like. And we've got Jaws, so that's just the standard artwork for Jaws. It, uh, so I mentioned, I think probably after the, I think it's the chapter one, or the chapter two, I'm technically just probably just classes it. And we got Back to the Future, and I said there was one with a car, DeLorean. But I looked at it, and if I didn't have the proper star work, then I think that was the next best one. And that matches, the, I believe, the artwork they had on one of the steel books. So as a standard um, for the for the first film was the trilogy set they did. But um, yeah, so I've got a first five there, and I've got room for three more. I mean, I could possibly. I mean, I've got so these are more these plastic containers I've got here. You draw things and just got stuff in in tubs. So all these plastic tubs, I had loads of these. Um, got ones I've got from the fast food place. Uh, got rid of all those. But these ones I bought from Poundland. And I was using them. They were fine, but I've ended up getting these. Got this from B&Q, first of all. Uh, I just put like screws and nails and wall plugs and other stuff in there I've got. But then I got this and I just put bits I had left over from uh, like speak stands or bookshelves, uh, bookcases, I've got other random stuff in here, so, bits of Lego, I got rid of Lego, but just got the figures, some, I kept some Lego men and bits I had from the, um, the Ring car, not the Ring, um, Ghostbusters one, that's the figure I got, so yeah, just random stuff, it's quite full, and the good thing about these is these come with dividers, um, and you get a lot, so basically like one per draw. And although I haven't used the back there, I've, I've put that there because I know my space that we use, and I've, so I've, I've left I've left some space there. I mean, I could probably do that forward a bit. But I do have some spare ones down there. Uh, so I came out of two of those. The bomb drawers don't, the, the larger drawers as I've shown. These only came with like eight dividers and the different size dividers. And, and I use them all up, but not as I need that many. But uh, yeah, and these are solid metal, and they've got proper back. These are just plastic, but they serve the purpose. But um, yeah, so I mean, I could possibly uh, have gone a little bit higher with those, and I've still got stuff there. I may have got another row there, but I don't know. I don't want to overcrowd the wall. And there's not going to be a huge amount of these I want. And, but the uh, picture's 80 quid, the frame's 80 quid, so 16 quid. On. I mean, possibly when I've got some space here, I could, I could do another layer there. I've got stuff on there, about stuff removed. And I've got, um, bought some posts. And I bought these frames from frames.co.uk. Uh, but you have to put the, screw the hooks in the back yourself and put the string ring. Um, so I've got more frames, just need to have to put them. That's the problem. Big posters. It's limited limited where I can put those. Uh, but yeah, so I've, I've had different things on here. So there are postcards. I had those, um, what was it called? The uh, Despicable Me posts and stuff I got from HMV a while back. But yeah, I like the look of these, but as I say, they're, I mean, say it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's not too bad. That they're not 100% all the same height. I mean, it's better than I'm, when I've done, uh, putting them up before where, you know, you try to, work out where to put the hook and the thing is the hook doesn't go at the top it goes a little bit way down and then you obviously got to work out where the middle is and you know I've had a situation where I think it's level and then I've roughly worked out where I think the whole hook should go and then I've either put it too high or too low uh, but yeah that's not too bad and I've been to be careful there because I've had things there before but I'm not sure where that wire from that uh, light switch goes uh, so I'm careful not to put a nail through it I do have a a thing to check, but I don't think it's that reliable. But uh, uh, yeah, so I'll tell up number three more there. Uh, I'm not sure which ones because I haven't seen any of the ones I wanted. Um, they do have some in uh, other ones in HMV, Mary Hill, but they were just the Joker one. There was some Billy Eilish, I think, on some other stuff I wasn't too bothered about. Uh, but they might have some in Birmingham, the Vault or the other store, they might have some different ones. And then, I mean, I must say I won't buy any more, but 
you know, to see if I can get these three O'Neill. I'll have a look what else possibly there is, but um, they, these aren't on the website, so it's not, I can go on there and order them and we'll see what there is. But um, yeah, that's how I was wanting on here, just because I had things on here before and it just brightens the wall up as well. And I can't fit these downstairs, and you know, I did like, I like all my posters up downstairs, which is not possible. Um, so I'll kind of put them elsewhere I can so they get displayed. Because um, really, you know, my wall space downstairs is kind of limited because I've got tall bookcases, and then on the stairs, I've got one side I've got, I've got um, posters, but the other side really can't, I can't do much with. And then other spare space I've got, I've got um, metal shelves for pops and daubs and other figures. And then I've got like, the radiator in the way and you know, other things. So I'm not kind of limited to where I can put posters downstairs. Um, and I did have some more up, but I took some down to put some more shelves up. Because uh, I thought, well, I'd rather I need the space for what pops up. No, I don't want them lying around on the floor or just on bookcases. I want them on the shelf, so I kind of took some posters down to put some put some more shelves up. But yeah, so I said they look nice and so they're not I haven't put them in a particular order, so they just the order I'll put them up, but you know, not like I need to put all the film ones together and put the TV ones at the end or you know whatever particular way of doing it, just put them up. And um yeah, they're looking good. Obviously with the I always think well you, you buy posts and things, you think, well, you know, you, you spend sixteen pounds it, obviously with the frame and thing. You know, is it worth it? Because, you know, it's on the wall, ninety nine percent of the time, if of you know, of the day, you're not going to see them. They're, they're not visible. Only when you stop and look at them, or walk past them. But um, I think you need things like this just to have a little bit of decoration of, of, of things up, you know, rather than bare walls. Because again, yeah, most things you know you own, you don't really do much with a lot of the time. You know, you got clothes, you don't wear your clothes same, you know, wear all your clothes at the same time. Do you wear? Your, you might not wear them for two weeks, so it's like that, isn't it? Really, I suppose it's a whole minimalist thing. Just owning a few items and not not having excess stuff. And as I, it looks like I've got there, but I've got I've kept things I've organised and stuff. So I probably could need to sort through those again at some point. And as I I've moved, moved stuff into there, so rather than having loads and loads of plastic tubs lying around I've moved stuff into there and it's more organised I haven't labelled the drawers um, there's come with labels I suppose I could do but I don't know how the labels I think the labels just uh, yeah they just slide on the front um, so I could use my label printer and stick something on there manually or stick it on the card or even write on the card but you know, I want to label that because I'm not to me this stuff I'm not sure what it's come with or what, you know what I had it with uh, so I did have things in tubs like IKEA spare parts and things, but I've just shoved stuff in here. But that's fine because there might be times when I want to use something and I think, oh, oh, I need one of these, and it's there. And I've kept the screws with it. I mean, I have got random screws and not there, there, and I've got other spare screws in there. So some screws I've just shoved in there. But um, yeah, and I think it gets bare parts of Ikea, anyway, you don't need them, I've gone to, gone to uh, one near me and picked up spare parts and had some December bits out, so, you know, end up, end up spare bits, and they're always useful to keep, and um, so these aren't in any order at all, they try to keep them some sort of order, and parts of it are all, but other bits are just random, so, well, things like this have the, Got this is from Frosty's cereal. This uh, little frisbee thing I had ages ago. Some Smurfs from Kinder Eggs. Yeah, do I need to keep this stuff? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know, but it's not doing any harm. It's it's in there. Got a cuffling there from school. Uh, fortunately, I don't know whether the one that of those is. It could be anywhere. It could be gone. It could be lost. But you know, it's things I've got regret, regretted getting rid of in the past. Um, so you kind of think if it's not taking space up really it's not causing any problem you know, just to keep hold of it obviously have limits because don't, obviously don't keep everything you know so I got rid of a lot of these plastic tubs I, I mean this is one of the ones I had that 
the stronger the, the better quality um and they're a little bit deeper as well so, um these quite thin these don't last that long i think it's like eight of these for a pound and then or two pounds or whatever i come out average sure and then larger ones but i've kept all these because i'm not getting rid of these because i paid for those ones these came with food so i'm not too bothered and found somebody wanted them but um yeah so i've kind of gone off track here a bit because i didn't talk about those posters but yeah so i've got things here i need to uh take down as well um this was from a savvy Z box. I was actually going to do a video about that, but I don't know if I was doing my daily videos at the time. I can't remember. And I've got some of these vinyl mates. Ordered another one of these. I think these are wood or something. I'm not sure exactly. But uh, yeah, and I've got pops need to label for and pop to take downstairs. So I need to actually sort these pops out, but I think I need to be putting where I've got them all with labels, and then I can I'm on the my app then i can just go through and just uh make sure i put them all together properly i don't want to start moving things around and realize oh, i've got the you know, two game of thrones ones i need to put on there so yeah and that's about it really just things wanting to just got a pass of there and looking to uh upgrade these what things that i've got criteria releases i want to get that stuff i'm waiting to upgrade i mean i might have to keep that ninja scroll because i've I think the stuff on there is not on the on the new release, and then there's stuff that um, I'm getting from like imprint and things like that. Um, keeping that probably in because there's a booklet in there, and then stuff there's got one getting a Warner Archive release, or got a Warner Archive release, which hopefully I'll get a premium collection release. I'll pick those up, and there's just some like labels I've got add on things, labeling things, but um, yeah, I'm not into all the tubs because not. Maybe because I've run out of room there, although I kind of run out of room those, but I've got some bigger items that just won't fit in there. But um, and I got this small thing from one below. I've got my stuff, the beads that I do, like the, like the um, key ring stuff and other things. I also need some more of those on top, but they're not a great quality. Um, they keep sliding. Um, so I've just got one that's a trial and it's fine for that, but I don't typically get any more. They're not expensive, but... <clears throat> Kind of makes more sense to have something like this. So I was going to put the other one of these up here, but I've used it downstairs for figures. I mean, they again might go onto shelves or something. But um, yeah, possibly we've gone there, but don't. I mean, I could probably move that along and perhaps it could fit on there. Uh, well, yeah, it might just fit on there, possibly. I don't know. I don't want to put it any higher because it might fall off and also because I've got pickets on there. But. Um, and I've got a toolbox there with some spare tools in. So, yeah, I've got, excuse the mess, I've got a tool chest there I bought, uh, which is, got all my tools in, a lot of tools out in those plastic drawers, in boxes and stuff, um, I've got this tool chest. So, I've just got stuff organised. I wanted a bigger one, actually, because there's one with three or more of these drawers and two more of these drawers and, I've got other stuff that, like that drawer's a bit tight for space and stuff in there, and I've got, got other things going there. It would have been handy, but it wasn't in stock at the time, and this was. Um, I think it has come back in stock, but I don't think it was reduced as, as much as it was. Um, but again, I didn't even know how much space I needed with it. Um, and I've got, so I've got stuff that can't really fit in there. Got, you know, some of that stuff wasn't there, I've taken it out, but um, yeah. I need to uh, sort that a bit better. But yeah, I could have done with a, like a bigger one, but I was buying more tools as well. It's kind of you, space, space I had, it's going, and then, you, said, you know, I'm the point where I've actually haven't got enough space. You know, things like, I've got, like, um, my standing knives and other knives in there, and a saw, and I've got scissors. I've now, I could have done with a, having three more small drawers and I could have split the scissors into one drawer and the knives into the drawer because they don't all fit in that drawer. And then stuff in there as well. But yeah, I'll leave it out because this was basically a bonus episode to talk about those H&V posters and I've kind of gone off on a tangent and that's actually longer now than the, the main video. Um, 
and I'll say the point of these bows videos is just to, to cover some stuff quickly, you know, and my whole point of my videos is to be, keep my to 10 minutes or close to 10 minutes and obviously I've gone well over that. So yeah, I'll leave it there. If I get any more of these, I'll obviously show me Pickles video and then when this is, when I've got three more potentially on there, well, I'll just do a quick update show on there. And, I mean, I can always get some spare ones and I can swap things around now because I, I've got 10, I might take the shining down and put another one up there instead or take down one and we'll change the order. I could, I've got a choice, but at the moment I've only got five that um, I own, so I'm, you know, I'll just look, not move things around or you know, I haven't got any spare ones to put up instead. But yeah, so that'll be it for this episode. And I'll say, and obviously, normal episodes have gone up today and then back to normal. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.